Uh, I'm Siga from Dance in Rodan. Uh, I'm more of a code monkey and <laughs> among my responsibilities is not public speaking, so please bear with me. Um, to the Dance in Rodan, which translates to Today is a New Day, um, is a twist on former Slovenian president's famous quote. Today we are allowed to dream, tomorrow is a new day. Um, that was broadcasted on every possible media the day Slovenia got independent. And we're a generation which believes that this tomorrow has already come and that we should, that it's time to rephrase it. So uh, this is where the name comes from. We're huge fans of World Wide Web. Uh, we believe that information wants to be free and that, so everything we do is unlicensed, open sourced and available online for free, including this presentation which is actually a website which is public, you can see the URL address there. So, who we are? We're a group of friends who have known each other for years, but started working this kind of work together about two years ago during the Slovenian uprising. The reason we created our first application was a statement of a saloon leftist, a well-known Slovenian columnist, Dr. Vlado Mihiliak, who said that the protests have no content. We were kind of offended by that statement. Um, and also, we hated that all the journalists are actually, not all the journalists, but many journalists are actually asking the very same question. What do these protesters want? We thought it was very wrong for any self-proclaimed voices of the movement, uh, I mean characters like Uro Shube or people like that, to get to answer to this, to get to answer to this question by themselves. I mean, we believe that everybody on the streets had their own agenda. Why? I mean, even us were a group of close friends, but we were there with kind of slightly different reasons. Um, so, uh, we created a web application which allowed users to publish their proposals, what needs to be done in the country, and then discuss the, on the proposals and upvote or download them. Around five or six hundred uh, proposals were uh, published and around 13,000 uh, votes were casted. Um, it really I was amazed by the fact that the proposals were actually mostly not stupid. They were kind of structured and the, the level of the debate was also, also quite cultured. So uh, this kind of gave us, uh, left us with wanting more or something. So uh, after that, uh, Quite some people asked us uh, to help them to, cook, to help them communicating online, so we created a few digital campaigns for NGOs or groups of people for who we believe that they're doing like their work is force for good in the world. So we helped them and realized that uh, we kind of like working together. Uh, so, like on 9-11, one year ago, we institutionalized, and I swear this date is a coincidence. <laughs> uh, and soon more people joined in. Uh, by now, we've published around 15 web projects. Our own web projects, not the work that we do for other people. But, uh, because I have limited time, uh, I'll just show you the three I like best. And by the way, the other members of Tyson wanted me to present other projects, but since I'm the one who gets to speak, uh, I also get to choose. Uh, so, uh, when our president, Paco, <laughs> murdered the anti-corruption commission, we couldn't let that go. We wanted to make sure that this horrible act has at least some kind of negative effect on the next race for the office. Uh, so we created a web application which allows you to write an email to your future self. 
this is uh, this is how the pre-populated text uh, looked. Uh, just a second. Do you remember March of 2020, 2014? Tina Maze was fourth in the World Cup. Uh, strikes were on. Uh, they caught the whatever. Maybe you can. I'll. I, okay. Yeah. Uh, just read it or don't read it. It's not so uh, crucial. The point is that uh, we wanted people to have some kind of reminder when they'll be casting their votes what happened. So uh, almost two no, almost more than 2,000 uh, letters uh, were written and stored, like unique letters which we have stored on our servers and will be sent out in 2017, a week before elections. Um, this project was awarded with uh, the Golden Digit Award. Um, so that's it. Sorry. Uh, where's my mouse? Next one is uh, not particularly clever, but it's by far our most uh, viral project. Um, not in terms of Marcos 14 million in 14 days, but still uh, a lot of people uh, saw this video. Um, maybe we can play it, but the sound is there and the video is here, so we have to uh, press play the very same. Moment. Three, two, one, go. Šta da pust, spustiš teš na gledališče ali pa kino, če si prej hodil. Ne greš na pivo. Skratka, začneš tam, kjer najmanj boli. Zdržava je nekaj podobnega. Vse v spoštovanju, ne sem nobenih narodnostnih težav, vendar v promen govorimo slovensko. Vi ne govorite slovensko, ne govorite cene besede, ki so naslovenske. Ne to močem. Projekt še svojitve od drog strani isto spolne skupnosti je bil projekt celovljenja vrednotne žrtvenice Slovencem. Zaznavanjkrat izrazite ideološki projekt, kaj še so v preteklosti vedno z ušitkom in hudimi posledicami izvajali slovenski komunisti. Cerko žensko vedno brani. Ženska je okrožena. Zaradi splava dobiva največ ran, njena maternica se spremenja v grobnicu. Svoje plačo ne morem preživeti. Niste edini, ki se borite z mesta v mesec. So the next thing that I'll show you is actually the only thing we do daily. It's a short, maximum 800 characters long reflection on the news item we find the most disturbing that day, and it's presented as a calendar and usually equipped with a Photoshop joke because it helps the thought circulate online if you do something like this <laughs> when you write <laughs> your prime minister. Last night here. Um, 
So now I'll actually show you two things that uh, are not done yet. So they are like, I mean, there's a lot of stuff here that has not really been thought through, but uh, I want to get feedback as soon as possible. So this is why I decided to actually show you stuff we haven't done yet instead of stuff we've already done because I'm selfish and I want to have something with, to take home. Um, the first thing is uh, a project which code name is Cefizel. Um, it will be renamed by the time it's done. Um, like I said a year ago, we managed to get it to get institutionalized, and we perceive it as we perceive it as our biggest achievement. I mean, maybe not the biggest achievement, but the hardest thing we managed to get done because of the bureaucratic jungle. We really, I mean. It drove us mad. Uh, we just didn't know how to do it, and there was so much stuff to do, and nobody ever did similar stuff. So we realized that uh, our country needs a better user interface, um, and decided to build something like this. Um, second, I'll just show you the implementation. Um, this is the the texts here are. Stupid, uh, they don't make much sense. It's just uh, to show you the concept of the user interface and the point of this project. The idea is I mean, if there's a law which has 45 pages and you're only concerned with half of one page, um, it's really bad that you have to read through it to get the part of the, the part you find, I mean, the part you need. So uh, we decided to um, we decided to build an application which uh, guides you through like step by step through some process to, to the pro through the process and it, it works the way that uh, it, you have to answer questions and then you and then you um, narrow down the part of the law that you have to read. So uh, the idea is I mean this is a guide. Uh, which helps you to organize a public event. And you just say, um, I'm organizing this event uh, on, on the land which is not mine. And then you proceed and you say, I know who, who the owner of uh, this land is. And then you say, and also this design is not a, something finished. This is just a, a prototype. Um, the municipality owns the land where I'll do the event. Uh, I expect more than 3,000 people to show up. Uh, I will not be playing loud music and stuff like that. And then uh, I'll, I won't continue because it, take, it takes two minutes to get to the page with results. But the idea is that in the end you're told, okay, look, you need to arrange the security service, stuff like that. Just five bullets which get like extracted from so you don't have to read through the whole thing. We have a what you see is what you get uh, content management system. Um, the point is that you can create these decision trees. Uh, visually you can see live what you're doing and then you just press public and the guide uh, is, gets, uh, gets published. Uh, now we're looking for partners who would help us with the content because we only created like two guides and we almost uh, died because it's really a tough job to, to... I mean you have to really read through the whole law and then you have to... <laughs> it takes time and now we're like looking for NGOs who would help us with... or not NGOs, but any kind of groups of people uh, who would uh, help us with this content uh, and that's about it. Actually, I have one more interesting project to show. Um, okay, um, this project is called Parlameter, and I believe it won't be renamed because we kind of like the name. Um, what is it about? Uh, some of us have 
jobs, like actual jobs, when you have to wake up in the morning and spend your whole day in the office. And our employers uh, track what we manage to get done, like, every week. Um, we don't like it, we hate it, but we do believe it usually makes our companies more effective. Um, but we realize that there's a bunch of people who work for us, don't work for us, um, but we fail to deliver any kind of supervision. Uh, worry not, we're not some positivists who believe that everything can be measured, but uh, let's not stop at nothing because we can't do everything. So, right now, the only quantified analysis of the Slovenian Parliament is Politbarometer. It does not monitor the MPs' work, but their popularity instead. However hard we try, we do not see measuring public opinion as a force which will make our Parliament a better place. So, we would kind of love the media to start using some other quantified metrics when they're trying to put politicians in on some charts. Uh, so yeah, the Parlamenter will be a project uh, which is like a government transparency web application. Technically speaking, every website is a web application, but here I'm using this term because uh, the gathered data which is organized, analyzed and transformed into, let's say, information will not only be presented on this website, it, it will not be presented uh, in the form of a single website, but will be easily and freely accessible for anyone who can take it away and do other stuff with it. So, uh, the idea is that uh, there are three kinds of users or visitors who will need this. Um, first, of course, the ordinary citizens, it will enable them to track the, their MPs and understand the legislative records and public speeches. Then the press, journalists and researchers. Uh, we embrace a relatively new web design concept. Uh, it's called embeddable cards. Um, the point is that everything a user sees on the interface um, can be visually adapted and published on any other website with just a few just a few clicks. The way you publish YouTube videos or Google Maps, everything on Parlamenter will be like an embeddable card, uh, not in the form of an iframe, but okay, never mind. Everything there can be taken someplace else and published um, really easily. And then the third uh, group of people, um, like we did not forget about the geeks who want to play with the raw data, we managed to uh, get together. Um, so all the data that we scraped from numerous sources is cleaned up in real time and available in all of the most popular machine readable formats like JSON and XML. Um, because we want other stuff to, other people to take this analysis to another level. And because however cheeky we are, we believe there's people with better ideas and better coding knowledge. Um, so these are the uh, sources of, that we already parsed and uh, it's the site of the um, national parliament, the I actually don't know the English expressions for all of those institutions, but uh, we got together data from eight sources, uh, processed them, and now we're creating cards which can be taken and published on any kind of platform. Um, now I'll show you the prototype, which is, uh, I mean, I was again advised not to do it because it's very much undone, and there's no colors, the texts are stupid, it's like those Lorem Ipsum texts you put there because you want people to understand that there will be text, but um, please don't uh, hold me for stuff you'll see. Um, I want to show it to you because 
we're quite insecure and unsure about how to pull this off and uh, I believe there's like a cool group of people who, which can give me or give us advice before we continue so this is why I'm showing you this prototype um, so these are cards um, it totally won't look like this please uh, keep that in mind but uh, everything can be if you click this you you get settings for like uh, choose the color or create the title then you can say okay this uh, you have this toggle button which says do you want this data to stay live, to, to keep refreshing once you take the card on your website or do you want to like take a snap as it is today because if you're writing an article about a particular situation you want the data to not change and ruin your point when someone will read your uh, article one year later. Um, so there's a bunch of analysis we're doing. Uh, we have all the transcripts that our MPs, uh, everything they say in the parliament is uh, parsed and then analyzed. We're, uh, we're analyzing stuff like uh, who said the most unique words on, on, and it's not an absolute metric. I mean, if someone speaks more, we do calculate that. Um, and a bunch of other uh, interesting stuff like the deviance when you have uh, someone who always votes differently than uh, members of his party we, um, we can point that out and now this is the most uh, something that will I mean I believe a lot of people will bitch about it because it's like you cannot uh, really quantify the work uh, that simple. We all know that you have like, we have now a, the, our biggest party in our opposition is like, their members are, if you look at the numbers, they're really performing well because they're always uh, saving the private Yanis and they're always uh, on, a, on a mission to, to stop the debate with something, I mean, they're, I see it as trolling, but computers see it as proactiveness, so it's <laughs> quite tough. But we're aware of that and there will be disclaimers, there, there will be, um, I mean, we're totally open for any kind of advice how to get through these kind of issues. Also there's, I mean, computers will never understand irony, maybe Marco will uh, correct me, but I think it's hard to do it so it's uh, I mean we're doing it with we're quite reserved about it some I mean we have like team lab and more like team academia in our institute and we're we're being kind of uh, I mean some people don't, don't some people in the team don't don't want us to do it <laughs> because they're afraid that it will look like neoliberal and stuff like that but we're uh, pushy because we believe it's if we, if we communicated that uh, we are aware of these issues, we believe it's uh, something that people can excuse us. So uh, I'll just show you around. Um, each MP has a profile. It's like a Facebook profile. Um, also you can choose like, uh, show me the members of this and this party from this place. And then you can get a card and take them someplace else. So everything is like, Embellable, but let's say we uh, want to see a profile of one particular MP. Here you have like basic information, which is fixed and it it doesn't change. It's not dynamic. Um, you can take it away. You can say the title is Peter Wilfan. You can click the the data you want to take away. I mean, if you're not interested in everything, you can just say show me uh, his education and his age and then you take this card away when you're writing a, an article about, about him. Um, that's like his recent activity, these are his speeches and, uh, and his uh, voting uh, record. Um, okay, and this is the parameter, this is the analysis uh, which will uh, 
I believe is the most problematic. Um, it takes together uh, like proactiveness and uh, con con constructivity. Um, the idea is that, I mean, we're, for example, we're counting words from the past. Uh, words like partizani, domobranci, depalavas, shit like that. We, we like believe, I mean, we don't care about it and we believe that every time someone mentions that, um, he or she is not being constructive. So uh, this is, for example, one thing. But here's, the, again, we have a problem because someone might say, we just stop with all those parties and bullshit, and again, we can't, like, if he said something. So it's, it's really tricky, and I mean, it will be easy for right-wing people to say this is bullshit. It, it will really be easy, so we'll need a lot of good advice how to get through. Um, also, we're counting, like, if someone is offensive um, and being nationalistic and stuff like that. This is not the uh, this is not the full yet, and then there's the activity. Um, I mean, the proactiveness. We calculate uh, their uh, abstinence. I mean, if they don't uh, have sex, yeah, yeah, their presence, <laughs> like <our> presence, <laughs> yes, um, stuff like that. Uh, and then it, everything together uh, culminates into one index, which tells you how, I mean, the, it's, we're not judging, I mean, we're not daring to say that this is good or this is bad, we're just saying this is 71, because we don't want to make that step, we want uh, journalists to do it, I mean, in their, this is just a tool for other people to draw conclusions. So here you can see the average uh, number, and here's the one, the, here's the maximum, and that's him. Um, again, you can, yeah, but it doesn't work yet, you could take it away. Then you have uh, his votes. Um, you, have, you, have, you can see his top bodies by vote. <laughs> the people who always vote the same as he does. And then you have his top enemies by vote. And then there's this political compass, which uh, there's the leadership score and the ideology score, and it uh, the blue are the blue dots are people from his political party, and the the, the biggest blue uh, thing is him, um, and that's other. So two, you can see two things from this graph. Well, one thing is, I mean that the for example as the as uh, this is not real data. This is just like the way I perceived it, so because it's a mock-up. Um, for example, they're, uh, they're much more tightly together because they do stuff, uh, everything they do like together. I mean, they have the same opinions on this stuff. And uh, so this, this takes two things. It takes the transcripts from, the, from what people say in the parliament and it takes the voting record and it uh, Again, by itself, the leadership score and ideology score, these are like two meta scores which don't say shit. It's just when you put it in context, when you have 90 MPs, that you can draw any kind of conclusions. Without that, it's uh, totally pointless. Um, here's one more thing. When you uh, try to check out the, the voting records, I mean, you want to see what MPs uh, voted on, you see that uh, this is like not human readable. It's like uh, 17th, uh, of something, novella, something, something. You, you cannot have no idea what is it about. So we're organizing uh, an army of uh, young, uh, I mean, of uh, political science, students of political science who will do this work for us, they will kind of tag the, every, every motion uh, which is voted upon and they will say this is health, this is a, a, a economy, this is uh, welfare, stuff like that, because we want to make this uh, readable and we have not found a way to do it with, I mean, we believe that you should never send 
a human to do a machine's job, but we, we just couldn't do it with machines. <laughs> um, then there's speeches. There's like words which make him unique. This is like Marco, you know, this is TF, IDF uh, analysis uh, with some other uh, stuff added. It's, so it works like that. If someone says, uh, if, if, someone, if Peter Wilfan would say Brad 17 times, um, and every other MP would say Brad like 15 times or 20 times or stuff like that, and then Peter Wilfan would say avocado three times, and almost n nobody else would mention avocado. Avocado would pop up as the word he uses often, not bread, because bread is, that does not make him special. So it's like the words which make him unique. Um, we, we believe this will, this will have fun results. Uh, um, so here we have links to, um, to his appearances in the parliament, and then like the, the, the number of unique words, um, and here we have, this is like a placeholder, we'll be calculating something like internet friendliness. This is just a gimmick because uh, we don't want, I mean, we want, to be, we want it to be like a bit fun. So uh, there will be a bag of words which we think we should, which, which we think that should be discussed about more often. And then we'll be counting who's actually opening this kind of debates. And this another bow contact index is, is just a placeholder for something you should come up with. What else should we try to find in their speeches? Uh, tell us, we'll try to do it. Um, so yeah, um, we'll also be, uh, there will also be, uh, but this is not, even a mock-up doesn't exist yet, for, but we'll also be uh, featuring their uh, appearances in media. And we'll be saying stuff like, uh, this media um, talks about him more often than other stuff like that. So we'll try to find some kind of relationships, relationships between MPs and the media. Um, so the exactly same stuff you can do for the whole uh, parties. Um, it's like um, the very same... Uh, Data, but uh, I mean, uh, how do I put it? Um, Add it together. I mean, let's just. The, the, this is like average results for. Yes. And then you have MP with the highest index and MP with the lowest index in the party. And then all those very same analysis. There will also be heat maps of where one party is uh, got a lot of votes. We want to see if some parties are better represented in Ljubljana or more popular in Maribor and, or which party is the most pop popular in Dolenska region and stuff like that. We, we want to um, see that in maps. Um, so yeah, that's... Here we have deviance and then you have... Uh, how do I put it? The, if there's a MP which is not a member of their party but uh, uh, votes very similarly, then they do. Then we say who, sh who would join them the most easily, and we put the name. And then who, who could not join them by any chance? And so that's that. Um, you also we also have this TF IDF analysis for the whole parties. We can see which parties talk about. Uh, which kind of stuff. So, this is coming to an end. That I just show you one more thing, that the transcripts and uh, how we show the motion on which people voted. Um, for example, this is transcript. This will be, um, you, you'll be able to scroll through a transcript and the one which will be in the center of the page will you get URL to share it, so people will each. I mean, each speech in Parliament will have its own place on the internet, its own URL, which you'll be able to share to Facebook, Twitter, email, stuff like that, and people will comment. 
it will be in context, they will see one speech above and one speech below, but this one will be in the middle and they'll, you'll have the URL to, to take it away. And also it's a card, like everything else, you can just go and embed it and say, it, okay, give me a picture of him and make it transparent and make the font black and then you take this speech as a card and publish it in whichever media you want. So there's this and then these are the votings on this very um, session, no? Um, so there's a motion and then here we have those uh, two layered uh, pie charts. The uh, idea is that if you click on voted yes, you see all the people down, you get listed all the people who voted yes. And if you click on SMT, uh, you get only SMT people who voted yes. So, and then you can obviously take the card away and uh, embed the motion in the media. So, uh, that's pretty much about it. Uh, I'd really be, I'd be glad to hear your feedback on this because we're really insecure with it and I mean we're already inside the team we're being accused of being positivists and neoliberal and, and stuff like that and we really do not uh, want that to happen so help us out. Thanks.